These are silkworm pupa. They are known for being very high in protein and extremely nutritious. Why doesn't more of the world eat these? We're about to find out. Hello, we're Stephen and Elaine. We have a passion for traveling and love learning as much as possible about different places, cultures, and people as we travel the world. In this video, we're going to share with you some of our favorite and most interesting foods from Seoul, South Korea. So what is traditional Korean cuisine? There are a few things that stand out about what makes a traditional Korean meal. Several small dishes of pickled and fermented roots and cabbage, table cooking, especially meat, super hot soup, and cast iron plates and bowls. The soups are served boiling hot. It's great because it gives you time to socialize. Just a really large radish. I don't know what gives it that light pink color. That's so it's a slight vinegar flavor, but not harsh. Uh, it really doesn't have a flavor. Mm -mm. Even school lunches include a soup, rice, pickled radish, steamed veggie, and of course, kimchi. So this is kimchi. They have all different types and kinds, but we purchased the basic mock kimchi, which is just fermented cabbage. The spice kind of comes at the end, kind of hits you. It's getting hotter as I'm talking. But um, this isn't one of the strongest ones I've had. Some of them they sit in barrels outside for a couple of years, and those you can see the bubbles rising in. They're really, really fermented and they're really, really strong. This is really spicy, but the fermentation um, doesn't seem like it's been as long. Looks good. There's an order to tabletop cooking. This type of dinner is not for someone in a hurry. Here you can see how the vegetables, rice cakes, and meat are added to the pot. Once it's done, it looks and tastes amazing. After being out late, one of our favorite things to do was to get some ramen noodles with cheese, some fried rice, and some yaki mandu, which is Korean for fried dumpling. These are little probiotic shots. They're like little hyper yogurts and they are full of probiotics. So the kids drink these every day. In schools, we would give them to them and come with a little straw sometimes. Either way, it's delightful. And it makes your tummy feel good. Oh, okay. These are duck eggs. We can already smell them really strong. Um, they've been preserved. I don't know what that means. They don't smell preserved. They just smell old. They're wrapped in these little plastic bags. And they're spotted. I'm gonna crack them open. Oh, okay. Oh. That is not look edible. That looks like the kind of egg that you left in the refrigerator for too long. Eggs aren't naturally black. <laughs> Alright, here's the inside. It looks rotten. What? It does. It also. Oh. Oh. Woo! <laughs> that literally burned in my nostrils. Burnt. Like when you smell bleach. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. Okay, it tastes fine. It tastes like an egg. But everything visually is telling me that this is not food. I can see through the 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 
membrane and it's like clear brownish but it's just oh uh, mm. these are song pyong a korean dish made for chuseok a traditional korean holiday to give thanks they are colored by using other foods and stuffed with sweetened sesame seed filling they're delicious these are silkworm pupa they're known for being very high in protein and extremely nutritious why doesn't more of the world eat these we're about to find out Oh. oh, I'm fired as a husband. You are eating them. Look at these big ones. <laughs> so first off, the smell is pretty strong. Um, it's not bad. Mm, might be a little bad. All right. <laughs> Here we go. I'm not eating one of these without Steven, so. Oh, they squish. Oh. It tastes like you ate something out of your garden. Like in the dirt, something that lived in the dirt from your garden. Korea barbecue is great. They marinate the meat for hours and you grill them yourself as soon as you are ready. When it's time to eat the ribs, you wear a glove for the heat and then a plastic glove on top of that so your fingers won't even get dirty. This is soju, a rice-based alcohol. This one is grapefruit flavored. And as they say in Korea, kompe. Delicious. Soju is served cold in Korea. This is peach soju, kompe. That's delicious. That's sweet. Very peachy. That's why you like it. Sweet and peachy. But it's so crisp and cool, it goes down really easily. It's famous for giving Americans hangovers the next day because it goes easily on the way down and then so the sticks with you in the morning. These are honey butter fries. They look amazing. <laughs> you want that one too? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Delightful. These are my new favorite fries. I do need to find more extra. <laughs> it's like coleslaw. Nothing fancy. Very nice. This is paddock chicken. It's covered in green onions. Mm. There's a big garlic flavor in it too. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah. Looks very garlicky. I can't wait. This is garlic chicken. I'm so excited. Steven is all about these big drumsticks. So I only eat these flat pieces. It's really good though. Take the garlic and the onion. I tried twice to keep all this moisture in. Look how juicy that is. South Korea has a unique spin on popular foods. From Philly cheesesteaks to German sausages, there is really a wide selection of cuisine. On this day, this Korean movie chain was hosting a special where they would fill up any size container you bring with popcorn and even give you a side of butter squid. This was our favorite all-you-can-eat sushi restaurant. The selection was more than adequate, the food was delicious, and the price was unbeatable. From the snails to the passion fruit, this place was great. Conveyor belt sushi is also popular in Seoul. Here you see a unique sweet crab roll with frosting and sprinkles. And of course, fine dining sushi, some of the best yet.
Here you can see it has hot dog or sausage and it has cheese and this looks like mayo and maybe a little ketchup. Mm-hmm. Tastes like someone put hot dogs on pizza. But it's delicious. It's definitely better than silkworm pupa. Yeah. Also from the bakery, we got another, what I think is gonna be savory, it might be sweet. It has peas, which is what gives it that beautiful green color, mashed up into some sort of paste, like a pea paste. So we'll see, it could be like baby food or it could be delightful. Here we go. It has a flavor of peas, but I feel like they put enough sugar in it that it's good. But it's definitely unique. Just a weird way of designing a pastry. We hope you've enjoyed sharing this adventure with us and will join us for part two of Korean food as we explore street meat and so much more. Please subscribe below to help us fund more amazing adventures around the world. Is it good? Delicious. Yeah, you like it? You try it. I feel like I should have given you that and I should turn it Oh, hey, Jesus. Me. Better than a larva. <laughs> I think everything's been better than the larva. Although the blood sausage is a close second.